All right, what is up everyone? My name is Chris and today I'm gonna to be taking a, a, I guess you could say this is a player profile. Uh, I'm gonna be looking at Flyers defenseman Robert Hag and I'm gonna go into a little bit of a deep kind of talk of what I think the Flyers should do with Hag and if they should sign him this for the next season. All right, so I talked about this in the last video I made about the RFA, UFA kind of thing. I talked about just about everyone else really besides Hag. Um, and I decided, you know what? Let me kind of bring him up a little bit because, you know, no one really likes Hag. Let's be real here. There's many Flyers fans that have many mixed opinions on him. Not many people like him. He gets a lot of stuff that's thrown at him. And, you know, to me, Hag is not the greatest player. But I think he there is a lot of value with him. He's got one year left. Uh, he'll be an RFA uh, going into next season. Uh, and he's got 1.150. Uh, on his contract, and I'm assuming that he will actually get uh, re-signed probably around the exact same thing, um, because, you know what, Hag is a guy that can come in the lineup, he has had a really good season, in my opinion, uh, for, for the 1920 season, he's played good, um, I don't think he's made any bad decisions with the puck, I think he's been good with the puck, he's, and for him playing the minutes he plays, He's really played good for this Flyers team, and I think the biggest thing is, too, is that if you have a guy that can come in and play those bottom pairing minutes and get paid cheap and also be a pretty solid physical defenseman on the back end, then why wouldn't you sign him? Um, I think he's had a good year with the Flyers. His stats are, you know, kind of not really what, you know, he's not an offensive defenseman. Uh, he's more of a defensive slash puck moving defenseman uh in 49 games played he's got three goals 10 assists for 13 points he's a plus 14 that's pretty good uh for you know for for being hag um as you know when he was with the flyers in 18 19 he was minus three again the team wasn't that wasn't that great and in really his first season with the flyers uh in 17 18 when he had when he played 70 games uh he was a plus five so he's gone up and he's played better um I think the Flyers are going to re-sign him to anything, and I think it would be a mistake if they would let him go because I think, I think he does have some value. And I think he can be, you know, he can come in and he can be kind of uh, somewhat of a role model as well because he's been with the Flyers for a few years and he's uh, with the team and then he's been in the organization for a long time. So, again, I like Hag. Um, I had a little bit of a mixed opinion on him when he came in uh, his rookie season, really, with the Flyers. Um, but... I thought I think he's played really good this season, and I think that the Flyers will re-sign him. Um, my only question is, I just hope that they don't miss out on giving him, you know, a contract that would be that it, it, it's going to be a contract that makes sense. My only thing is, is that I just don't want it to be something where they try to lowball him and he says no, then they lose him to free agency or wherever else. So my thing is, is that I hope they sign him. I think they will. And I don't really think it'll be, you know, a, a huge contract. It'll most likely be the exact same thing. Um, maybe two years. It might up the term a little bit. But that's probably about it. So remember, guys, podcast articles, those links are on my channel. Hope you guys enjoyed this one. I'll see you guys in the next one. And goodbye.